Welcome to World Transits Today. Practicing in the tradition of Stanislav Grof and Richard Tarnas, blending consciousness research with astrology. I'm Art Granoff. December 7, 2021. Today on World Transits, special archetypal news network edition. We explore four planetary archetypes. The Sun, Mercury, Mars and Neptune, focusing the spotlight on three Neptune transits, Sun square Neptune, Mercury square Neptune, and Mars trine Neptune. Let's kick it off today with the Sun and Neptune. The Sun's my identity, what I want and where I'm going. Who am I anyway? What are my values and how do I find out? Just like the plants, the sun warms me to life. Yet with too much sun, I'm cooked and seeking shade. Neptune's imagination, what's ideal? What's the awesomest or worst that could happen? And which ideas bring them to fruition? Or they never happen at all? Like mythology throughout all cultures, the stories are true. They teach us through the ages yet they never really happened at all. Neptune's unity, offering particular insights, but sometimes has trouble recognizing us as individual people. Things get porous. As if I can read you, your motives, intentions, or when my ideas or views cover you, viewing you as a reflection of me. Perhaps you're wondering the same. Neptune's leaky walls bring identity issues. Who am I? Welcoming confusion. What's real? Neptune as Stan Groff's BPM1, our first home. Union with mother in the womb. Everything's there. A swimming pool. Lots of food and we don't have to take out the garbage. Neptune is paradise. Sun with Neptune, the vivid imaginations flowing, the colorful display, very clean, pure, dare one say holy, at least for a moment, the spiritual practitioner or teacher, no room for restraint or material reality getting in the way. Watch for being unreliable, spaced, wearing elevated costumes, special hats or robes, falling through or acting upon our own pipe dreams. The sun's me with Neptune, what's ideal? Fantasy, illusion, if only this. Grounded, identifying with flow, or ungrounded, diffuse, up in the air. From Crown of Creation, Jefferson Airplane, Lather, written by Grace Slick about her drummer friend, highlighting that you can't trust anyone over 30. And it goes like this. Lather was 30 years old today. They took away all of his toys. His mother sent newspaper clippings to him about his old friends who stopped being boys. There was Harwitz E. Green, just turned 33. His leather chair waits at the bank. And Sergeant Dow Jones, 27 years old, commanding his very own tank. But Lather still finds it a nice thing to do, to lie about nude in the sand, drawing pictures of mountains that look like bumps, and thrashing the air with his hands. Sun Neptune. Mercury square Neptune exact. If Sun Neptune's identifying with what's ideal, and Mars Neptune is acting on what's ideal, Mercury's the mind in all its wonder. Mercury thinks, organizes, and plans. Like a cosmic USB hub. Doesn't matter which cables you bring, Mercury connects with a variety of inputs. Receiving, considering, categorizing, and then communicating. Neptune's liquidy, flowing, melting, like light snow, soft and airy, heavenly, also like a blizzard, 
cold, blinding, knocking us down. If Mercury's thinking and Neptune's imagining, what do we get? The artist's imagination, the poet mixing thinking and fantasy, finding the right words, the musician mixing technical skills with beat and timing, finding the right chords. Meditation, the meditation, Neptune, teacher or student, Mercury. Astrology, thinking, Mercury, about the planetary archetypes, Neptune, talking about them, writing about them, or are they imagined? From Robert Hunter, some come to laugh their past away. Some come to make it just one more day. Whichever way your pleasure tends, if you plant ice, you're gonna harvest wind. And from Ian Welsh, I remember fairly clearly the day when trying to choose what to read in a bookstore, I realized that what I was choosing is who would control my consciousness, my mind for a couple of hours. It wasn't a thought I've never had before. After all, when we watch TV or a movie or read a book, we want our consciousness to be changed for a while. But I'm letting the author mind control me was direct, vivid, and somewhat alarming. We think of ourselves as our bodies and thoughts and as everything else as outside us, but that's wrong. We never experience anything but ourselves. We experience nothing but our own consciousness. It's literally impossible to experience anything that isn't yourself, including these words. This is true regardless of your metaphysics. The material world may well exist, but what of it? At best, you experience it as a representation in your own consciousness. And Mars trine Neptune for the last week. Mars is getting roused, activated towards something, not backing down regardless. Neptune's fantasy, what's ideal, flowing, and what's right. Mississippi, states rights issue, restricting abortion in Mississippi arguments at the Supreme Court. Mars, Neptune, ideal action. Mars, forcing babies to be born in order to Neptune, satisfy religious ideology. Looks like the US Supreme Court may gut the 50 year law legalizing abortion as a woman's choice to one that disregards the mother and determines that life in the fetus is based on religion and soon turn to the law of the land. Not individual choice, because according to religion, we have no choice. We're either children of the Lord or devils on our own. All eyes on the Supreme Court. From CNN, Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves called the recent Supreme Court oral arguments on a restrictive abortion law in his state a watershed moment in American history, saying he's cautiously optimistic the court will overturn the 1973 decision that secured abortion rights for women nationwide. Reeves said if the landmark ruling is overturned, his state will ban all abortions except in cases of rape or if the life of the mother is in danger. If you believe, as I believe very strongly, that an innocent, unborn child in the mother's womb is in fact a child. The most important word when we talk about unborn children is not unborn, but it's children. And so, yes, I will do everything I can to protect the lives of those children. Millions of people in the United States believe religious style laws to be God's laws. Should the court return the issue to the states, the move would almost immediately eviscerate abortion rights in large swaths of the South and the Midwest. Also this week, Mars square Jupiter exact tomorrow. Mars sextile Pluto exact all week. Then December 10th, Venus conjunct Saturn starts, and Venus conjunct Pluto is exact on December 11th. All three together through December 17th. 
And we'll be talking about Venus and Pluto and Saturn next week for sure. On the transit timeline, we see Sun square Neptune till just around Christmas. Mercury square Neptune exact day through the middle of the month. And Mars trine Neptune. Whoops, where are we here? Hey, Mars trine Neptune till about the 15th of the month. So thanks for tuning to World Transits today, everybody. Focused on the planet Neptune with Mercury, the Sun, and Mars. World Transits is available daily at my site, Reference Astrology, with the audio version at Apple Podcasts. Contact me directly for a birth chart and transit reading, where we explore the planetary archetypes, place them on top of your chart, revealing your personal transits.